But I want to share with you guys, this is actually something that I learned from one of the very first books I ever read when I decided to start growing myself and it's called The Compound Effect from and it's by Darren Hardy. Go look him up. He's absolutely incredible. And the um mindset and thoughts and practices that he shared in that book way back when when I read it almost gosh like 11 years ago now it really changed my life and it changed my business and it changed my marriage and it changed my relationships. Um, and so I want to share it with y'all and it's called the magic of the compound effect. And in a nutshell, the compound effect is just a principle, um, where you, you focus on being able to create and reap huge rewards from a series of just small, smart choices. So I'll say that again. The compound effect is the principle of reaping huge rewards from a series of small, smart choices. So many times we get so stuck like when we're working towards goals and it can really be any part of your life, whether it's losing weight, getting in shape, improving your marriage, um, like reorganizing your kitchen or growing your business. We set these goals and you know, we want to see massive results right away. And, um, a lot of times if we don't see the massive results right away, what happens is we just kind of give up on the idea altogether. Have y'all ever done that where it's like, you started a diet, like I'm probably guilty of this, where I'm like, I want to lose five pounds. And like the first two days I gain a pound and I'm just like, forget this, I'm eating chips, you know? <laughs> That's because I'm not focused in that moment on the magic of the compound effect. And what the compound effect essentially is, is training your brain to focus on the process planting the seeds and like the process and action steps that it takes to create the end result that you want in the future. The, re the reality is the ultimate result that you probably want to create in your future, whether it's in your business, in your marriage, in your health and wellness, whatever, is not going to happen overnight. Where you got today, where you are today is not a result of what you did yesterday. It's a result of choices you've made over years and years and years. And so if you want to take things in the other direction, it's the same thing. You've got to make small, positive, smart choices choices over and over and over and over and over again. What's really powerful, of what, well, what I think we all get tripped up in is those little like small, smart choices. They create a massive result, but in themselves, they seem and feel so insignificant. And so it can be easy to like put them on the back burner, forget about them, or just like fall off the wagon altogether because we don't see any immediate result. You know, there's not some immediate win-win, right? You want to lose 50 pounds, you ate a salad today. And then you're like, great, I'm still the same, right? <laughs> it's little to no immediate results, no big win-win, no obvious payoff. And that's really the tricky part of getting to where you want to go is that you're not going to get there through some magical blitz. You're not going to, you know, there's no such thing as overnight successes. Newsflash, Overnight successes are not real. If you see someone that seems like they're an overnight success, I guarantee you that they have been working towards where they are today for years, for years and years and years. And they've probably gotten so many no's, so many setbacks. They've had to scrapple and grab and grow and bam, all of a sudden it's like, da, 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 and everyone's like, oh, who are you? You came from nowhere. You're an overnight success. No, you just didn't notice them when they were struggling and in the muck and finding their way. But here's what I want you to think about, like, because we get so tripped up in the simplicity of the compound effect because it's so much easier to quit, you know, after you've been, you know, doing the, the whole 30 for four days or working on running for a week or, you know, being consistent with your social media activities for your business for two weeks and you haven't all of, all of a sudden like exploded on Instagram. It's so easy to fall off of the horse. And what I really want to tell you today, girlfriend, is I want you to get like get rid of the Insta success mentality. It's just not a real thing. And the result is that or the real truth is that if you want to create something powerful, something lasting, something that sticks, it's going to be a culmination of your daily choices. It's just like if you plant a seed, right? Like if you plant a seed in the ground that can grow a tree, let's say, when you first put the seed in the ground, like it's a teeny weeny little seed, right? And you can see the vision of that grand tree, right? Like you're going, oh my gosh, I'm going to have a tree. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. So then you plant the seed. And then you can't even see the seed, right? For like a really long time. The tree is still in the seed, 
but it's in the ground. And if you do not faithfully water that seed, tend to that seed, even when you can see nothing, when it's buried in the dirt, there is things happening underneath that dirt that you can't even see. At some point, the little sprout starts to break from that seed, right? So the tree is coming, you just can't see it. Eventually, something starts to break through the ground. It's not a tree, right? You're like, oh great, it's a sliver, it's a piece of grass. Should I uproot it and try another tree? Well, some people do that and keep starting over and starting over and starting over. Other people see that little blade of grass come up and they keep watering it and they keep nourishing it and they keep protecting it. And over time, a huge, beautiful, giant oak tree is there that gives them everything they've ever been dreaming of. The shade, the beauty, the acorns, you know, whatever it is that you want from that tree. But man, I just you know, with being in business for 15 years and working with so many women in so many different industries and business, it honestly just breaks my heart to see how easy people walk away from their dreams. You know, we, we have this big dream and we know what we want and we know why, and we're passionate about it and we're connected to it. But like something has happened in our society where we just expect things to happen just like everything else does, right? Just like your text messages are instant, just like your your Wi-Fi is fast, just like you, you know, somebody you saw try to diet and they're instantly a supermodel or whatever. We think that everything operates that way and it's just not real. It's just not real. If you want something that's going to bless your life and your family for generations, it takes diligence and it takes effort consistently even when you see nothing even when you see nothing. That's why it's so important to be clear on why you want what you want. Because if you're not clear on why you want what you want, it's real easy to quit. It's real easy to quit on getting in shape if you're not clear on why it matters to you. You know, it's real easy to quit on building your business when you're not sure why you wanna build your business. So you've gotta get clear on that. What I really want you to think about that's powerful you know, over the past 15 years, as I built my business and now work with so many other women in their businesses, I want to tell you, like, I can think back to who I was 15 years ago. I'm not that person. I'm not the person I was a year ago. I'm not the person I was six months ago. You know, that's part of why the compound effect is there and part of why the process is so important because the process is what develops you, you know? The process of what you have to go through in order to get that seed to turn into a tree, that is what makes you the person that's going to live that future life that you want. The compound effect and being diligent to that small, smart daily action every single day and following the process, even when you don't see it all working, that's where you develop your discipline, your mindset, your skills, your ability to actually like sustain in that life and live the life of the future self that you want to become. You know, it's easy to be like, oh, I want to be this. We have this picture, this super successful person over here. I want to be that. But what we don't realize is in order to get from who we are today to this, you've got to grow, you've got to develop. And that is what the process is all about is preparing you for the future and the blessings that you want to receive. So I just want to encourage you because here's what's magical about the compound effect. If you stay true to it and you get clear, get clear on what the action steps are, the small, tiny, sometimes insignificant feeling daily action steps that will truly move the needle and truly move you towards who you want to be, the business you want to have, the life you want to live. Get clear on it and just decide that you're going to dedicate yourself to that every single day because what's powerful is one day you're going to look up if you're dedicated to that and all of a sudden you're going to be experiencing explosive growth. You're going to be experiencing momentum. You're going to be experiencing results abundantly more than you imagined and it's not, you know, a magical like, oh my gosh, it just showed up. No, that's the result of your compounding interest. Think about, you know, have you ever heard like, gosh, I could totally butcher this, but it's like, you know, a penny if you invest it, um, it there's compounding interest, right? If you invest it, let's say like in an IRA and ultimately over time, if you just invested, let's say a penny into this account every single day for a set amount of years, it would explode into way more than just those pennies that you put in because of compounding interest. And that's the same idea with your action steps in your business. They have compounding interest. 
Maybe you can't see and touch it all the time, but it's there. The choices you make today build on the choices that you'll make tomorrow. And it just is a ripple effect. The choices and actions that you're taking today in your business and in your life, you're going to see those reflected 90 days from now. You're going to see those reflected a year from now. So that's why it's so important to stay consistent and stay persistent. Do not be the start stop person because the start stop person if you're always starting and stopping and starting and stopping, it's going to make it almost impossible to create momentum later on. So here's a few action steps I want to encourage you to write down and work on for yourself and just, you know, do some self-reflection and see if where you are today, um, are there some things you'd like to be different? Do you want to have a different situation when 2021 comes? Do you want things to look different this time next year? Well, then we've got to start making different choices starting today for those little, small, insignificant seeming smart steps you can take every day. So here is action number one. Write out a few excuses you might be clinging to. Like what are some reasons why you haven't been consistent or why you do let yourself off the hook from your goal or why maybe you haven't really like made the progress that you want to make. You know, it's so sneaky, those excuses. Some of it, some, some of us, we say, we're not smart enough. Oh, I don't have enough experience. How could I ever do that? I have the wrong upbringing. My parents never taught me how to be financially smart. I don't have the education. You know, I didn't go to school for marketing or whatever. Decide to make up. Here's, here's something powerful that I actually read in Darren Hardy's book, and I just embrace it so much. You guys, work ethic is powerful. You don't need to be a workaholic, but you do need to have a great work ethic. You can make more happen with just two hours of super focused time than you can in 10 hours of half-ass time, for lack of better words. <laughs> so I want you to think this thought, and I wrote this down because I didn't want to forget it because it's from the book, and he said, decide to make up in hard work and personal development to outcompete anyone, including your old self. So that's your first challenge. Write out the excuses that you've been maybe letting stay around in your mind and then decide. You don't need special talent. You don't need a special college degree. It doesn't matter how you were brought up. It doesn't matter how smart you are. None of those things matter. It matters if you decide that you are gonna go have the success that you want. So decide to make up in hard work and personal development to outcompete anyone, including your old self. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to write out a few, anywhere from three to 10, small, seemingly not super substantial steps that you could take every day in your life to start going in a completely new positive direction. It can be, and I don't just mean for your business, for your whole life, because your business is related to your life and your life is related to your business. So write out three to 10 small, seemingly insignificant daily steps that you could take every day to start taking your life in that new positive direction that you want. And then I want you to write out, out the same thing, but in reverse. So write out three to 10 small, seemingly insignificant steps that you can stop doing to help you go in that direction. Because you know there's some things you probably need to start doing. And there's probably also some things you need to stop doing so that you can start living the life that you want. And then take one look at your life. Otherwise, just take like a bird's eye view. And I want you to think about because every part of our life is the compound effect, you know? And so maybe you have one area of your life that you're like, you've killed it in before. Like you've had a super successful business before or marriage or health or, you know, mental outlook or, you know, motherhood, you know, whatever area of life, your faith walk. If you stop watering that area, it's going to slide backwards. And the compound effect really works both ways, right? It requires constant investment in order to thrive. And so take a look at your life. Take a bird's eye view. Is there an area that you've had success in before? Or you've been really strong in before that you know you haven't really paid that much attention to lately and it could backslide into, you know, reverse compounding. I don't know what that would be called, but you know, um, to, so take a look. And just do a little self-analysis and then let's get to it. This week is a new week. Today is a new day. And remember, if all you were to do was just focus on those small, seemingly insignificant steps every single day in your life, I promise you 90 days from now, a year from now, you're going to be shocked at the growth that you'll experience and in the life that you're going to be living. So go make it happen. You can have it all, girlfriend. You can have your cake and eat it too. You just have to go choose to make it real. 
So I love you. I believe in you. And I'll see you back here next time.